All right, now I'm on page 191 in the Big Go Math book. Follow along. Abby goes to the pool to swim laps. The graph shows how far Abby swam over time. Use equivalent ratios to find out how far Abby swam in seven minutes. Okay, so we can see one minute, 50, two minutes, 100, three minutes, 150, four minutes, 200, five minutes, 250. So we could make a chart on this. If you have graph paper, you could actually extend this graph paper out, but you would need to make sure you made the, you use the same um, format. So see, they use two blocks or two squares for every one. So one, two blocks, and then they put number one. One, two blocks, then they put number two. So you may just wanna make a table. It might be easier for you. Okay, so we have, uh, let's put time on the top, and we'll put meters on the bottom. So one to 50, one, uh, one minute to 50 meters, two minutes to 100 meters, and so on. So we're adding 50 each time. So we can see for seven minutes, which is what the problem wanted to know, seven minutes, seven minutes, she went 350 meters. All right, number 18, a rabbit runs 35 miles per hour. That word per tells us we're dealing with a unit rate. Select the animals who run at a faster unit rate per hour than the rabbit. Okay, so the rabbit is 35 to 1. We need to check all these and see if they are faster than 35 miles. So basically, if this number is bigger than 35, once we get it down to 1. So if we have 100 to 2, that's our first one, the reindeer, and we make it a unit rate, divide by 2, divide by 2, 2 divided by 2, well, that's how I get my 1, so I know I have to divide the top by 2. 100 divided by 2 is going to be 50. Since the top number is bigger than what the rabbit had, 35, then yes, indeed, the reindeer is faster. So you're basically comparing all of these to 35 over 1. And anytime you get a numerator bigger than 35, you bubble it in. So I'll do one more. I'll do the ostrich, 80 over 2. I want to make it a unit rate. Unit rate means I need that one uh, to get two to one. Very easy, divided by two. That tells me what I need to do to the top. 80 divided by two, or half of 80 is 40. Top number is bigger than the rabbit, so the ostrich is also faster. Okay, I'll let you finish. Uh, you do the zebra and the squirrel the same way. And again, you're checking. Once you get it to a unit rate, you're just checking, is that number bigger? if it's fast, since we need to find animals that are faster. Now tomorrow on the test could be different numbers. It could ask you which ones are slower. If it asks you which ones are slower, then you'd be checking to see if this number is smaller than the number you started with, okay, than the rabbit in this case. But it could be people tomorrow instead of rabbits, but it doesn't matter. The math is the same. I think I just woke up one of my kids. I get so loud and animate about this math. All right, number 19, Caleb bought six packs of pencils for $12. How much will he pay for nine packs of pencils? Use numbers and words to explain your answer. Okay, so six packs. I want to know how much he spent 
to get nine packs. So you notice there's nothing we can multiply six by to get nine. If we count by sixes, six, 12, 18, we never land on nine. Unless, of course, we used a decimal or a fraction, but that gets messy. So we, whenever that happens, we've seen it on previous videos and previous problems. Whenever this happens, when you can't multiply or divide something nice and easy, then you have to take this number and set it to a unit rate first. Now, I always use the unit, the unit, unit meaning one. I want the one wherever the smaller number is because that's going to make my division easier. Okay. So six divided by what gives me one? Six divided by six is one. So I have to do the same thing to the bottom. It's going to give me two. Now I have my unit rate. Now I can compare that to nine over blank. Okay. So what do I have to do to nine to get it to one? I divide it by two. So I'm going to have to take this number, divide it by two to get two. Oh, I'm sorry. I was like, that's not right. Nine divided by nine gives me one. So I have to divide the bottom number by nine. Well, I don't know what this number is, but something divided by nine is two. Or since division is the opposite of multiplication, I can go the other way. Nine times two or two times nine is 18. So 18 is the amount he'll pay. Okay, describe how to use a bar model. So to, to make a bar model, we have six things. One, two, these represent our packs. And all of these packs cost $12. So in order to find out how much 18 packs would be, or excuse me, nine packs, Okay, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need to figure out how much nine of these will cost. And so it would be nice and easy if we could figure out how much one of these costs. So you can see we have six, and if I divide that into 12, that gives me two. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yep, that's twelve bucks. So I know these all need to be two. And so I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen bucks. So again, you can see I got the same answer. But on this one, I use models. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.